Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with your instructional coach, Leslie Johnson. So today we are going to look at slides and how to make your own template specifically with slides. Because if you've ever looked, there are far too many just slides that you wouldn't even use. And if you are doing collaboration with your students, that can get to be a little tricky. So when we first open our slides, we're going to go to view, master, and that's going to show us all of these possible layouts. And guess what I'm going to do? Delete, 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 delete. There's, I mean, there's no reason to have most of these. And the only thing is when you have a slide in use, you can't delete that particular template. So this is the slide that's currently been being used, but what I can do is just edit from here. So I can highlight and then click delete from there. And then from here, if I want to change the background, I can go to gradient and make it like this pretty lavender color and click done. So, I can have that as rename. Maybe this is my student slide. Okay. And on my Q&A, I've even added the visual cue of the letters Q and A. So I can do this two ways. I could insert a text box. Now this is a box that I can write in. So maybe I'm just gonna put an A and I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to change it to impact, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe even bigger than that. Let's do 96, it's just huge, right? So this will be my pretend student slide. Another thing I could do, insert image. If you have something on Drive that would work, you could use that if you have in your photos, if you already have the URL. My latest favorite thing to do is just search the web. And I'm pretty sure this is what I did. I just wrote the letter A, hit enter. And I was like, oh, I like that guy. Highlight it. It tells me there's one selected. Insert. And then I just put it wherever I want on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and put this like, I don't know, over here. Now, if you want your students to be able to put text, I don't do the text box. I need to do a placeholder. So you can choose if you want it to be a title, placeholder, subtitle, body text, what have you. I'm going to do subtitle just because it's a little bigger and you can make it as big or as small as you want. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And here I'm going to, again, put my text box. This is where I write. You can modify that. Um, we're going to make it giant again, 96. This time I'm going to choose a different font to further differentiate. I'm going to right click if I want to change the background. And I could do an image. I could, I don't know, choose another color. Let's do a yellow. And there you have it. Now I just need to make sure that I put a title placeholder. And I'm going to rename this as question. Oops, but spell it correctly. <laughs> so I've just made my very own layouts. I'm going to go ahead and click X. And you see that my first layout has turned into a student layout. Now when I go here, I only have question and I have student. So I'm going to go ahead and do question, drag that above. Um, Maybe I'm going to add another question just to show you. And then I want to always leave a blank slide after that so students don't get confused. Um, and you can see here, it says click to add title. But I remember the cue was the text box. I can't edit that from here. To edit that, I always have to go to view master. So if I wanted to add a different kind of image, again, that's insert image. And I'm going to go to Drive. My favorite thing to do is Bitmoji. Blocked by the school, what have I done? I created a shared folder. <laughs> so I've just downloaded some. I actually have, uh, where is it? There's my Bitmoji folder. But eh, we're not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to select this one. 
insert doing it that way, I don't get the opaque or the um, kind of PNG file, but eh, c'est la vie. So now when I exit out of that, my students would see, okay, so this is my answer slide and this is where Johnson is leaving her questions. So creating your own kind of template is a fun way to get students to interact with presentations in a way that works best for you.